All right, and we're back. And this is gonna be the next look, which is for Side Saddle. Side Saddle is a little bit more glamorous, a lot more color, a lot more showy. Think of kind of Vegas showgirl meets equestrian. That's what it, that's the vibe, right? That's kind of like mm -hmm. the vibe it gives you. And we're gonna highlight and give her shine everywhere so you could see it's gonna be amazing. Okay, first I'm gonna start out with some concealer. We're gonna go ahead and use uh, this Radiant Cream Concealer. Uh, by NARS. It's called Honey. Again, we'll have all the products down below. So I'm going to go ahead and put this underneath her eye. Look up for me. This is going to help cancel out any circles, any darkness, anything like that, any dark marks. Uh, color theory, um, red cancels black, so that's knowledge. If you want to, if you have dark circles and you want to, not that you have dark circles, Leslie, but <laughs> she's beautiful, our model, but if you have dark circles and you want to get rid of them, please don't use a yellow, a yellow, a yellow concealer because um, it's like mixing yellow and black paint. You're gonna turn gray and green. And there's a lot of you on YouTube that are showing that. And it shouldn't be that. Okay, just letting you know. Yeah, shots fired. Look at. So I just like to finish off whatever's left. Look at me. Beautiful. So now she looks nice. Now I'm gonna go in with yellow to highlighter and give her a lot more light but now the yellow is going to sit on top of this so it won't turn green or gray color theory read about it this is our Lux. it's our liquid bright concealer as well but it's more like a highlighter so i'm gonna put that on there and i'm just gonna add this to the outer rim of her eye i'm gonna swing it up here just because i want to and i call this like a horseshoe effect <laughs> I see what you did there. You know, you know, <laughs> little horseshoe effect. We can all identify with the horseshoe, right? I'm just gonna kind of put that there. Blend it out. It's already giving her a lot of light, but we're not gonna stop there, guys. More light, the better. Let me ask you, since you are a writer, what do you not, what don't you like? I see a lot of things that are overdone without being um, in touch with what it's really about. So like a lot of things that don't match, a lot of things that um, are a little out of whack from what you had said earlier about colors and it's about the brightness, it's about the showgirl, but it's 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 still got to be understated and tasteful. Yeah, you can't just slap on green. When you want to look amazing, you want to put your best foot forward. So now again, I'm going to go into some powder, I'm going to go ahead and set it. Too. All right, we're gonna go back into this amazing, amazing contour kit by Glow Minerals. I have worked with highlighters, uh, contour kits from all different makeup lines. This one right here by far is probably my favorite. Again, the contour line is from the ear to the mouth, so and you don't want to go past your eye. And I'm just gonna actually go a little bit more intense. Again, it's like a little showgirlish. -y. So the best thing that I want to get at, uh, what I want to get out of this for you guys is technique. It's all about technique. It's all about color correcting. It's not about just slapping stuff on. So we're going a little bit harder with this contour. I'm gonna get into the highlight. Again, we're gonna go ahead and put this on right there. Put a little bit more on. See, look at me. Again, my technique, kind of warm up your hand, set it in. I'm gonna go down her nose, down the nose, on the forehead a little bit, on top of the lip and on her chin. Once you do that, it kind of accentuates her lip, if you can see that, so it's gonna look beautiful. And then we're gonna fill that in with um, lipstick, of course. Uh, this, we're gonna go in. This is uh, Love Flush, okay? It's my faves, okay? And this is by Too Faced. Again, we'll have everything below. I'm gonna go ahead and put, I always, I will always love you. So go ahead and smile for me, beautiful. And I'm gonna go and just go really on the apple and I'm gonna make this upward back motion to lift her cheek and it's gonna go back into the bronzer. I'm gonna have you turn that way just to give her some color. Pretty, beautiful. 
make sure it goes back into and again this is a little bit more intense so it is a little bit more showy it's stage you could say stage makeup so it has to be a little bit more intense this is something you probably wouldn't do on a daily basis this is something you know if you do this every day have great skincare products because you know, this is, it is a lot but <laughs> for show day you definitely want to put it on but put it on with technique some traffic behind us always nice so again i'm gonna go back to my original contour kit and we're gonna go into the eyes i'm gonna go back to her face just a little bit later i like to let it sit so then when i'm done with the eyes i can go back and kind of see oh i can add a little bit more blush or i can do this to it i'm gonna go back in with the lighter color the lighter brown at the bottom and i'm gonna go into again my favorite little nook which is right in the crease in between the eyeball and the eyebrow bone i'm gonna stick this brush in there and go back and forth back and forth again all products that we're using will be mentioned below. Also another thing is you never really want to see, and I think maybe you can agree with me, this is probably what you see, is people tend to put just slap on color and it just looks like a line of color, mm -hmm. right? You want to blend out, okay? You really want to blend and make it look gorgeous and beautiful. So that's what we're doing here. We're doing the base. And once you do this and you put color on top of this, because you have this color underneath, it will kind of give you that beautiful sunrise blended look. palette okay I'm gonna go ahead and use this color it's called sketch by Matt I'm gonna go ahead and go into the same crease but I'm gonna keep it at the edge um, I call it a gator mouth like an alligator mouth or you can do greater than less than so basically put your finger like this you're gonna make that same shape it's gonna start at the bottom of this line and, and then so the one end of the, you would say V, is gonna go up into the crease, the other one's gonna go into the crease, and you're just gonna follow that line. See how I'm kind of making like a triangle there? So it looks, so basically just remember this technique, it's your eye is greater than your ear. And then I just like to blend it out. Do the same thing again, down one side, okay? and then into the crease down and into the crease i like to take the excess off and just try to blend this out but you can see how it almost fades up because of that base color underneath to do this it's called marrying the lines that's what i usually call it you kind of see where this color ends and where the other one begins so get a little bit of the original color that's underneath and go over that line a little bit and just marry the colors and have it blend up your eyes want to look like a sunrise Clean it up, same thing on this side. See how it kind of just, you can kind of see it. So I don't want that, so I want to blend that. I want to marry the colors a little bit, just on the line. And you could see it, it just blends up way better. Another wonderful trick that you can do to make your eyes look bigger is I'm going to have her lid be, uh, I'm going to use like a really <clears throat> flat, light, shimmery color. This is called nylon, and I know I have a lot of people right now looking at me that know this color from Magna. They're like, nylon? But yes, again, we're doing the showy type of makeup. We all know that nylon is a very intense, like, uh, it's not white, it has a little bit of yellow undertone, it's, it's intense, but it looks great, 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 great for stage makeup. And it does look good for every day, too. You just have to know how to use it. It's a very intense color. So what I'm gonna do, go ahead and look down, is I'm gonna pat this color on her lid. I'm literally going to do a half circle, a half moon. And so what this is going to do, it's going to create a lid on her. So when you're far away, open and look that way. So when you're far away, you could see her lid open. So when she's writing, and usually when you're writing, you're looking here, right? You're looking, so you'll, when she blinks or whatever, it's going to look beautiful away. Go ahead and blink again. Beautiful. Again, you want to pat the color on to get the most amount of color on, the intensity. I know people are looking at us like, oh, are you wearing a primer? Why didn't you do a primer? And stuff. But I did. I put a primer on before I had prepped her skin. I went ahead and put a base on her lid. But if you want to put a, a primer under this color and you think that's going to be best for you, uh, go ahead and do it. I'm not. I, the color's already 
really intense. I'm just doing a half circle. This is known as a cut crease. And I'm actually gonna leave it just cut like that. I'm not gonna blend that up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use our Glow Minerals uh, liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna use, I poured some out on my hand here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and make a line. I'm actually gonna make a thicker line and it's actually gonna extend out. If I can have you open your eye and look down, so what I like to do is I like to get into the lash line and then go ahead and just go straight back. I like to do at the edge of the eye, go up, almost make a triangle there. And then, yes, drama, go. And I'm gonna go down and make it a little bit thicker. Now I'm just kind of filling it in. Do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and just start it out. Wow, look at those eyes. Woo! <laughs> so now I'm gonna put mascara on her. Of course, I'm using a wand. Once you have your own mascara, you can use the wand that comes in there. I like to go on top. Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> Keep pulling me oh, around. Anura. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put lashes on her. Go ahead and just put the glue on the track. I like to dry three seconds, count to five, ten. Look down. Remember, start in the middle and then clip down the uh, um, the sides. I like to kind of fan it off a little bit. And you kind of want to make your liner at an angle this way too, because it's really going to make your eye look extended, and especially with the cut crease. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, gorgeous. Just like to pat it off. Also too, whatever's left on your mascara brush, I like to go to the tip of the lashes just to add more drama, especially because again, this is show. And if you hear noises in the background, we are at the LA Equestrian Center. So there's a lot going on around us, you know? <laughs> a lot going on. There it is. And it just adds more intensity to it. I'm now gonna go underneath her eye with that same color that we used in the edge of her eye. Uh, look up for me, and we're just gonna go underneath her eye and fold it out. Again, this is something for show. This is not every day. Pretty. If you want to, to add more drama, you can add black, black eyeliner inside the eye. Um, It'll make it uh, really intense, so you can also do that too. If not, you can just do it like this because you have a heavy liner on top, plus you have a cut crease. So when you blink or when you're on your horse and you're looking towards that, it's just gonna look stunning and really pretty. Okay, now we're gonna go to the final step. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. This is called Bombshell. I mean, I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> so, and this is the suede matte crayon. I'm going to use a matte on here, not so glossy, because matte will last longer and it'll look more intense. Uh, traditionally, red is the go-to color. Uh, cool thing is, is there's actually a sharpener in the cap of this. So, And again, we will definitely have below more instructions on if you like any of these, the Glow Mineral products, on how you can get it, where you can get it. Um, so don't worry, we're going to hook you guys up. So I'm going to go ahead and put this color on. Bombshell. Remember, start with the Cupid's bow. We have the highlight that's on top of the, uh, the bow. You can actually add that maybe a little bit later if you really wanted to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and fill her lip in. Cool, so that's a really cool way of putting color at the bottom. I just did the top and had her press. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and enhance it a little bit. Beautiful. Go ahead and press. All right, so now we have her look. She looks beautiful and amazing. I'm gonna end it off with the spray. Begin it with the spray, end it with the spray. Close, and see how beautiful. Blink again, close. Ooh, look at that lid. All right, go ahead and let that sit. Again, what I like to do is just kind of press it into the skin after you wet it a little bit. Also, this uh, refreshing mist is amazing. Uh, it actually has almost like 
aromatherapy to it, so it's actually really good for you, especially when you're going to go out and ride and compete. It relaxes you. Sounds like thing. it might be nice, like in between shows and Absolutely. in between your classes. And Would you like do that. it? Yeah. There and it you fits go. in your bag. Yeah. To go. There you go, especially. <laughs> All right, so we're all done with this look, and now we're gonna have Elise come in and do her hair to complete it.